Hey, what is going on people? This is Hellbent and a couple of months ago I had released my Smart Clicker version 3 as a subscriber only auto clicker. Uh, it's been a couple of months now so I'm going to release it to anyone who wants it. Uh, there'll be links in the description to it. There's going to be two versions available. One version is only available as a download and the other version is available as a copy and paste. I'll show them quickly. So this version here is only available as a download and this version here is available as a copy and paste. Um, in order to use the copy and paste you're going to need to have auto hotkey on your computer in order for you to be able to run auto hotkey scripts. So you'll just paste the code for this into a new script and run it. They're both identical. There's a slight variation in the appearance of the, the layout of the controls but other than that they're identical. Um, so I'm going to use this one here to do my demo. So how this auto clicker works is it's designed so that way you don't have to constantly start and stop the auto clicker. Once you set it, you can have it keep running and then you still have the ability to do other things um, without having to stop the auto clicker because it's only going to click in the areas that you set it up to click. So it has two modes, fixed mode and free mode. Fixed mode is where you only want to click one specific point and free mode is where, where you want to click wherever you move your cursor. I'll go over both of them quickly and how to set them up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to fixed mode. I'm going to hit set click location and I'm going to pick a point on the screen that I want to click. So I picked that point there. Now there's an imaginary box that's been created around it that's 80 pixels by 80 pixels. To show you what an actual box that's 80 pixels by 80 pixels looks like, roughly about that. So now there's an imaginary box around that point that I set that if I move my cursor and inside that that box it's going to start clicking. If I want the auto clicker to stop I just move my cursor out. Next I'm going to set the target window so that way if even if I switch to another window the auto clicker is not going to click. So I don't have to worry about clicking on things that I don't want to click on. So I hit use target window, set target window and then click twice to update it. Now that I have my location, I have my window, I'm going to decide how fast I want it to click. Uh, this is in milliseconds, so if I want it to click, for example, 20 times per second, that would roughly be about 50 millisecond delay. If I want it to click, uh, let's say, 30 times per second, that would roughly be about 33 millisecond delay. Um, I'll do 11 millisecond delay so it clicks pretty quick. Next it has a counter. Do you want to use a counter? Yes or no? Right? And that's it. Now I'm going to have it set to, I have it set to click there. So I will run this. I'll activate the window and now if I move my cursor inside that box it'll snap to that point and you'll see the counter starting to go up. So now it's clicking. If I want it to stop I don't have to press any hot keys or anything like that. I just move my cursor and it stops. If I want it to start I don't have to press any hot keys. I just move my cursor back there. And that's it. So that's the fixed mode. Next is the free mode. So this this auto I should point out that this auto clicker works for any kind of applications. I'm just using paint because it's it doesn't slow down my computer a lot like other games might do while I'm recording and it's also you can also see, you know, that I'm painting. So you can see where it's clicking. Um so it does work on other things besides paint, just so you know. Uh, okay, so I'm going to switch to free mode and I'm going to select an area of the screen that I want to click. Now I could set it to be the whole window or I can set it to be a strip of it or however big of an area that I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit set top left and I'm going to put it there. I'm going to set bottom right I'm going to do it there. And now what I've done by adding those two points is I've created an imaginary box around that. And if I showed you what the, a literal box looks like, I would just draw a box between those two points. So there's now an imaginary box around those two points that if I move my cursor into that imaginary box it's going to click. If I move it out it's going to stop. I have my window set. I have my speed set already. I'm going to reset my counter. I'm going to start. I'll change colors. So now if I move my cursor inside of that box it's going to start clicking. If I move it out it stops. If it's in it's stop in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Alright, so I can have it clicking, auto clicking up in here, but then I can go do other things over here without the auto clicker interfering. I can go back to auto clicking, no interference.
auto clicking, no interference. Okay, and like I said, I can switch. I don't even have to stop the auto clicker. If I want to go to something else, I can switch to another window. It's not going to click. It's only going to click if it's this window. Okay, uh, now I'll do a quick demo of how fast this clicks. Um, so this auto clicker isn't necessarily designed to be super fast, but it is it is a pretty fast auto clicker. So here I have a speed test. So I have it set to click for 10 seconds. So I'm going to set it to this. So you can see now it's only going to click if this is the window that's active. And I'll set this to fastest speed. I have everything done. So let me start a new test. All right. So look, every time I've been doing it with the recording software on, it gives me about 350 clicks per second. With the recording software off, it gives me somewhere around 600, 650 clicks per second. But the the recording software really slows down my computer. So anyways, this is at its fastest speed. And like I said, this isn't designed to be a super fast auto clicker. I have other ones that are much faster than this. But in generally speaking, oh, it's only 260 this time. Let me try a new test. The last couple of times I've been getting 350. Okay, like I said, my recording software really slows it down, but 273 clicks per second isn't uh, isn't too shabby. So, anyways, that's it for this one. Be sure to hit that like button and come back for more.